Hello everybody, I'm your friendly neighborhood Let's Plays, but I want to welcome you back to Dark Fear. So last time I left off, I did some grinding between the uh, episodes, as in uh, I had plans, so we got the map, and we're gonna go to the Witch's Mountain, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna go to the Witch's Mountain, but I also decided that we're gonna try to take down this demon that we've seen on the tree that has a lot of health, and hits hard, but I upgraded my all of the armor that I can get right now, and I have a lot of HP, as you can see. And also, I bought a lot of uh, special... <coughs> special bolts. Sorry. Just got an itch in my throat for some reason. Uh, I got bought some special bolts, and there was a new kind of a bolt uh, upgraded from the copper to... Um, something. Can't remember what it is. But it, it causes a lot more just regular damage. So, without further further ado, let's try to do this, shall we? Yeah. The creature in the tree must be in a seriously bad mood. It lets out a vile hiss as he launches at you. Prepare to defend yourself. Cobalt tipped bolt. That's the one. It causes around 140 damage. So, it should be good. But I do have a lot of special ones, but I cannot apparently use them right now. And I bought a lot of uh, healing potions. They heal 450 HP. So let's do this. Let's kill this beast that I've been... Oh, there's a counter for... On uh, the special. That's cool. Eh. Not a counter, but a... You know... Cannot use the specials right away, I gotta get the meter up, so I can change to the special, I guess. Aha! You missed! So, let's see. What would he be weak against? The Malachite works for something. Uh, the uh, Rose Quartz is imbued with the power of love, of all things. And the Onyx is good against ogres and trolls. So, I don't think any of these would work against him. But I could try the Rose Quartz. Yes, let's use it. And, uh... It's not very effective. What is this, Pokemon now? Ow. You are hitting hard, but I hit hard as well. Okay, now we know. He's not weak against the power of love. It's the power of love. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a potion. So let's heal. Super potion. Super health potion. Super health. Super health. Yeah. There's one more hit on you, and we can be rid of you once and for all. I've been waiting for this moment. Yes. 350 cold. Not much, but... Devil in the Trees achievement. The tree devil lets out a scream as your last bolt takes its life. He won't be bothering you or anyone else ever again. As it dies, it drops something shiny on the ground. You pick it up and realize it's another amulet piece. You add it to your collection. Yee-hee! <laughs> that was it? Just for the amulet piece? Huh. Makes sense. So let's go and heal at the tree. Da, da, da. Also, since I get got that done, save. Oh, that attributed 2% to the uh, game completion. Now, three places to choose from. Hmm. I think I will take this one first. Traveling to new location. Do -do 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 -do. Traveling to new location. Do -do 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 -do. Well, it's a cave. Fire. Uh, nice campfire already set up. Although I don't see anybody here. Hmm. I'm gonna save here because I just arrived here. Don't know what's gonna happen. Although the cave looks empty, the fire inside the cave looks like it's just died out. Someone obviously lives here, but just isn't around not right now. Perhaps there's something you need to do first? Can I do this? That doesn't work. Okay, so that's the wrong place to go first. Let's go here. 
three places to choose from. That's one is the correct one. It's all mysterious and puzzling. As you approach the cemetery gates, you notice a woman casually standing there looking at you. Yeah, she's not dangerous or anything, I'm sure of it. She's just gonna be a very nice person, very lovely, and we're gonna have a nice chat, maybe some tea and crumpets. Just uh, gonna hang around at the cemetery, maybe have a bang or two, just go, go real raw and just like, ur, ur, ur. or not. You can't help but wonder whether she is the relative of someone buried here or just some lost soul in need of help. Or maybe the worst kind, you know, a vampire. You finally pluck up the courage to speak to her and ask if she's okay. Are you okay, miss? She gives you a look of horror and speaks softly. Do not cross the gate. Whoever enters will not come out alive. The banshee destroys all. That foul creature has prevented me from visiting my son's grave for many years. She's really preaching right now. You can't help but feel sorry for her as she sighs and looks at the ground with sadness. Tell me something, have you ever lost a child to the devil? No, but I've met a lot of people who have lost their child to the... to a devil. Kind of a... the monster. What's with the... what is with this game? Everybody losing their children. Damn. Sad. I have. My son was taken from me. All because of someone else's lust and greed. You're very, I have to say, very sorrow-stricken woman just leaning sensually against the gate uh, pillar. It's not really portraying the um, emotion that she's having right here. You know, sorrow, grief. She's more like, Hey there, sailor boy. Coming to the cemetery just to see me. I won't rest until his soul is at peace. I spit curses on the monster who did this. May this soul be torn apart forever in hellfire and eternal damnation. Hallelujah. Praise it, sister. Woo! All of a sudden, she perks up and stares at the gate. The banshee, she comes. Over there, behind the gate. You look over the cemetery gate. Is that a dark shadow you see? Well, I see three. <laughs> I told you she was the bot This enemy has a specific weakness. But I told you she was lying. I knew she would be a monster. I knew it. I called it. Holy hell, that scared me. That was good. Another. Your special power unleashes a blood curdling scheme. <laughs> we are out of here. Okay, we need to find out how to defeat the Banshee. Can you rejuvenate me? Thank you. Oh, oh. That scream. That was a Banshee scream, alright. Well, let me... Yeah, I'm dead. Sure they did. Yeah, no pulse. Okay. So, a zombie spider here. Continuing the game on. Woo! Ooh, lordy! I got the vapors! As you climb the snowy ice path towards the summit of the mountain, your path is blocked by a mountain lion. The large cat growls at you. Prepare for combat. Prepare for battle. Oh! I can't kill you, you're kinda cute! Oh. Fine, let's destroy it. A bit better would be nice. No, you do hit hard at least. Come at me, bruh! You ain't nothing but a kitty cat, bruh! I don't think any of the special ammo is gonna work on this one. <laughs> Just one more hit on you and you're dead! <laughs> so, what are we gonna find at the mountains now? Well... That's... that's a palace, all right. Hello, ice. You notice a bizarre ice formation sticking out of the ground. Upon a closer inspection, they look like ice crystals. Although they are cold to the touch, they don't appear to melt as easily as the regular ice. If there's something special about them, you pick up a handle of ice crystals and take them with you. Oh, yeah! 
It's a bunch of ice crystals you pulled out of the ground in the mountains. Naturally, they are extremely cold to the touch. So now I got a fire crystals and ice crystals. Am I also gonna find some uh, earth and air crystals at some point? Maybe I am the avatar! Anybody get that reference? It's a large, beautiful flower bed full of bright, beautiful flowers. Redundancy of redundancy. Your head spins at the overwhelming sweet scent coming from it. It's hard to believe flowers this fine would thrive in such a harsh, cold environment. You can only assume they are being well maintained. You reach over and take a closer look at the flower bed. As you do so, you feel a sudden strike in the back of your head accompanied by a loud crack. Everything goes dark. Well, that was a smart idea. Now I'm being captured by the Ice Queen. You awaken to find yourself trapped inside a cage made of ice which sits inside a large hallway. The wind echoes across the rock walls which are covered in a glistening coating of frost. Beautiful as it may be, you're not overjoyed by the harsh hospitality of whoever lives here. You notice other ice cages nearby which are all empty with the exception of a few skeletons here and there. Looks like you're the only prisoner here. At least the only one who's alive! Touching the bars of the cage is a bad idea. Your skin just sticks to them. Let's face it, there's no way you're getting out of get out get getting out without some kind of help. Ah, no. Don't you worry. I've got all the help that I need right here in my pockets. Do -do -do. Da -da 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 -da. Although not totally sure whether or not this will work, you decide to give it a try anyway. That was a, a sizzling sound, for sure, or a steamy, steamy sound. You press the fire crystals against the ice bars. You watch in awe as they react to the cold ice and begin heating rapidly, burning a large hole through them. You carefully squeeze your way through the gap in the bars and make an attempt to leave. As you step out of the ice cell, you suddenly find yourself being flanked by several armed guards who threateningly point their weapons at you. Uh-oh, spaghettios! Looks like they're not too happy about your little act of vandalism on the ice cage. They forcibly usher you down the hallway towards a large cavern. Cavern is ruined. Hello, Ice Queen. You suddenly find yourself standing before the Queen of the Fortress, who sits upon a majestic throne of ice. Though she is very beautiful, you get the impression she is cold-hearted. She narrows her, uh, her eyes and stares right at you. Her glare is harsh enough to pierce cold steel. She snarls and glares at you before speaking with a voice which is calm, but full of authority. You! Who are you? Answer me! As you have no answer, you can do nothing but remain silent and tremble. I asked you a question. You barely speak up and tell her how you arrived here and about the witch you're seeking here in the mountain. She pauses before sizing you up and carefully looking you over. I'm no fool. And you're no magician. You come here uninvited, steal my flowers, damage my property, and then try to deceive me like some lying serpent? I shouldn't have you put to death! You fall to your knees and beg and plead with her for mercy. Mercy? You wish me to show mercy after all the trouble you've caused? This could be your only chance of surviving this situation. You beg her to let you go and offer to do anything in return. Her eyes narrow like slits as she glares at you while considering your plea. I may be willing to compromise, if you're willing to undertake an extremely dangerous task for me. Realizing this could be the ticket to your freedom, not to measure your life, you hastily agree. Very well. Beyond the mountain, Chasm lies a cave. It's the only place in the valley where a rare species of firefly can be found. My palace surgeon needs those fireflies for medicinal purposes. Bring me some of those fireflies alive, and I will not only grant you your freedom, but will allow you permission to take whatever you please from my flower beds. But be warned, getting to those fireflies will not be easy. The cave is inhabited by a fire demon. It will be necessary to defeat him in order to get what you need. Do we have an agreement? You nod your head and assure her you will do whatever you can to get her what she wants. Very well, you may leave. But do not attempt to flee the valley or go back on your agreement, otherwise I shall be forced to hunt you down and have you executed. Is that understood? 
Good. Now go. Get me those fireflies. Remember, I want them alive. You got it, sister. <clears throat> totally got it. She is intimidating. Okay, so the cave that I went to before, maybe that has some help here? No, not now. Well, a new location has opened. Okay, fantastic. My pleasure, the girl. <laughs> Any enemies along the way? Ah, a large black bear. Got it. Black bears are known to be extremely hostile, and this one is no exception. As always. A cuddly waddly big bear that is going to die by my hand. Especially now because you missed. You barely do just 10 more damage than the mountain lion. You call yourself a bear? <sighs> You're one of the clumsiest bears I've ever uh, confronted in a game. So, I better put you out of your misery. Yeah. Thanks for the gold, though. Always, uh, always funny in RPGs that even animals have gold on them. Well, this looks inviting. How about I uh, save again and also grab this and drink another one because I want to get rid of them. I only heal 150 anyway. It's a large pit of bright burning lava. Given the cold and snowy environment, it seems a little odd to, for this to exist here. Regardless of which, the lava pit is blocking your way into the cave. There's no way you're getting past it given the amount of heat coming off. Now don't worry, I'll take care of that. Really? Good idea! You throw the ice crystals into the pit of lava. You watch as the lava pit cools down and becomes a patch of dried cracked mud. Well, that was a good thinking. You can now, you can get through there. This used to be a pit of hot lava. That is until you turn it into cracked mud patch. As you enter the cave, a fiery apparition appears in front of you and begins to take the form of a devil-like being. Ooh, cool looking. And also I see the fireflies. This can only be the fire demon which the Ice Queen warned you about. He glares at you with anger, and it looks like he's in the mood for a fight! The fire demon charges two or three with a warning and I have no choice to drift me. You got 800! Huh. I think I'm gonna flee for a while. Yep, bye! Because I am going to go back to town and talk to people. Okay, you don't have anything. How about you? Special bolts, malachite, onyx, and silver, gold. Yeah. Really don't have anything that would work against a fire demon. Do you have anything? No, no. How about Gunther? No, Gunther just. No, Gunther rest at all. Oh, Gunther want is to rest and also nice. Non non capitalization of his name. Why can't you have new? New the tools. Only if I'm only good against the electricity, not fire. That would be nice. Now, oh, well, let's just go back and try to defeat this uh, fire monster. All right, you demon, let's do this. Ha hey, have at thee. Put up your dukes and do your best, or do your worst. Pretty much do the same damage as me. Well, actually, he's stronger, but still. You ain't got nothing on me, son. I killed a demon that was tougher than you. And he wasn't even on fire or anything. So, ha 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 I wonder if Malachite or Onyx will... No, Onyx won't work. Malachite is against uh, some types of uh, creatures, but that's only... Uh, that's what it says. Just only against certain type of enemies. I'm gonna try it out. It's not very effective. Okay. It was worth a shot. Always worth a try. With all the special weapons that you have. Gotta use them at some point. Just to find out if they're good or not. And I am dying. Drink that. And also drink the last of the uh, 
standard ones. So now I'll only have super health potion. You're gonna die in two hits anyway, so. If I can get a perfect hit now, you will die. You will perish. And then. Eh. Yes! Woo. 420 gold, blaze it! Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> blaze it. He was a fire monster, 420. <laughs> Got it. Jokes. After fighting your last shot, you watch that demon's fiery body disappears into a tiny wisp of smoke. New tattoos, bolts, and armor types have been unlocked. Woo! More grinding. <coughs> You notice a large cluster of glowing insects, which you can only assume are the fireflies you need. They appear to be docile creatures who just seem to be sat there doing nothing. Well, I do have this empty glass jar. So, that's a good idea, but there's no way you can reach that high. And... a car? Hmm. But we have a problem. We can't reach that high. Well, I guess I'll be finding that out next time. I gotta do some more grinding, maybe get a new tattoo, get the upgraded armors, and see what kind of bolts we have. Actually, let's go do that. So, next we have an upgraded armor. I cannot get birds. Okay, so we need to get birds from somewhere. Maybe at the cemetery, because there was a crow? Makes sense. That means I have to destroy the um, Banshee. Right. So what that tools do you have? Silences your enemy. Ah! Ah-ha-ha! -ha. Yes, I need that tattoo to fight against psionic attacks. Hmm. Huh. But I do need that. The Banshee cannot scream her head off at me and cannot hurt me so much. Also, maybe I should buy some more uh, special bolts. I got a feeling the loved ones might work on the Banshee. Makes sense. Let's go and just have two of each special bolt. Ooh, steel. <clears throat> Max out. That's my new regular type of a uh, bolt. Let's change it here to steel. Yes. Steel tipped bolts. I'm gonna make it this a, a longer episode, so... Or a longer video, not an episode. So what we are going to do is gonna try and take down the Banshee. Yeah, you bitch. Come on, let's do this. I don't have a better armor, but I don't care. I need to get through you. Your tattoo suppresses the enemy's special power. Yeah. You do have a lot of HP, though. A lot of HP. You heard a lot with one swipe. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Sha la la la, sha la 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 la, board. Okay, let's try the quartz. Hey, hey! Ooh, super effective! Yes! I was right! I love it when I'm right. Okay. Come on. Ow. She hurts a lot. I'm gonna drain, waste two, at least two uh, turns here to just heal myself. Maybe one more. Just to get back to almost full health. Alright. Now let's attack and then use the other rose quartz. Yeah. The Rolls Quartz actually should kill her if I get it into the middle. And, uh... <gasps> yes! Haha! <laughs> Died by the power of love! Because it is the power of love that vanquishes all evil. You destroy the Banshee with the final strike from your crossbow. She lets out a blood-curling scream... <laughs> ...before crumbling to dust and being blown away by the wind. Adding my own sound effects here. Although you were a little annoyed you were so viciously tricked by her, you feel better knowing you ended her reign over this place. You can now hunt the cemetery! Hunting I will go, a hunting I will go. You don't need to see it because I will do it between videos. How about that? So yeah, 
gonna leave it here, gonna go hunting, then I'm gonna buy the next uh, up armors and maybe some other bolts and see what not. And uh, next time, we're gonna explore the cemetery, we're gonna try to get the fireflies, see how we can get them and all that, and then we're trying to find the witch. So that's until next time. So thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye. Don't hit me in the eye. Ugh.